Good evening everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I'm PJ. I'm in Northwest Arkansas where I raise commercial meat breed rabbits. I raise New Zealand's and well as of now all varieties black, blue, broken, red, and white. Uh, I won't have any white babies for a while though. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Y'all been wanting to watch some evaluation videos. And so what I have today is the three showable uh, kits out of Washita and Mark. And if you watched yesterday's video, I know you're saying three. What do you mean three? I thought you had four showable. Well, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, when I weighed these guys, uh, they're 11 weeks. At 11 weeks, I expect five to five and a half pounds. Uh, bigger is great. Uh, but I certainly don't need uh, to drop down below that too much. Uh, now, these guys are still in groups. Uh, the bucks were in a group of four. The does were uh, in a group of four up until last week. This week it's been three. And it has been hot, and so they have not been eating a whole lot this week. So I would have gave them a little bit of leeway uh, with that in mind. However, one of the blue does... Uh, wasn't even close. She was four pounds. Now that's probably because she had three bigger sisters pushing her away. But um, either way, uh, I believe in uh, fit of the fittest. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the strongest survive is what I believe in. And in this case, she was very small, four pounds at, uh, you know, right at 11 weeks, 10 and a half, 11 weeks, somewhere in that neighborhood. I expected at least close to five pounds, and she was four pounds on the mark. So, she's no longer with us. Uh, she will become dinner. So, with that said, we ha do have three uh, remaining uh, that was close enough in weight. They were a little lower than I would have liked to see, uh, but again, for those reasons I told you, um, it's been close to the 90s all week. Uh, no one's eating, they're just kind of staying cool, uh, and they are in uh, shared coops for, for now, for another week. Next week they have to get divided uh, because they'll be 12 weeks old. So uh, let's go ahead and evaluate the three remaining kits. First up, we have the broken black buck, and he is, I really like his depth. He, he seems to be balanced as far as he's as wide as he is deep, as long as he is wide, or, or, or long. Uh, he seems to be a pretty balanced fella. Um, he doesn't, well, he catches a little right here at the hip. But I tell you, I think that's a weight issue. Like I said, uh, because of the heat, they have not been eating a whole lot this week. I do think once we get those guys div uh, divided up, which after tomorrow, he'll be the only one left. Um, those off-color will be called, so he will be the only one left. So I really expect to see a weight gain in the next week, uh, especially if we can get some cooler temperatures. Uh, he's got a pretty nice fur. He's got a baby fur, of course, but he's got a clean, crisp um, marking. Now, there are a few little white hairs here and there, but that's normal. It's nothing obsessive or excessive, as they call it. So uh, He's got full nose marking. I think I showed you yesterday. He's got a lovely face marking. And so this guy uh, does, in fact, deserve a little more time to grow out. Uh, this is still pretty young. But I do like to evaluate them so that I'm not wasting time on something that's not going to be worthy. And uh, this guy has no reason to be concerned. Uh, right now, all he needs is time. So I'll look at him again. Well, I'll look at him off and on briefly um, as time goes by. But I'll t pull him out and take another real good look at him at about 14 to 16 weeks. At that time, we're going to start seeing more development. Let's go ahead and take a look at the girls. 
Isn't that right, little fella? You need a tattoo and a name, don't you? I think I'll do that tonight. All right, and then we have a blue doe. And uh, just like her brother, she is a little under the mark where I would have liked to see them. Uh, but I'm going to give her some extended time. Um, now, right now, she is young. I think she's going to be a little bit narrow right through here. Um, she just feels narrow. I will give her some time and see what happens. Uh, but she's got some pretty decent depth about her. And, oh, I guess I should have showed you the back side. There we go. I can't see it, but hopefully I've got her where you can see. There we go. Now, I can't tell you, so let me turn around and I'll take a look. There we go. Tuck your feet under your hips. There you go. Alright, so she is full at the table. And she's kind of wide here. It's here where I think she might be failing. Um, right through here in the top of the loin. I think she might be a little bit narrow. But she's got a great coat, good density, good color. Um, this can fill in. Um, so we'll give her some more time. Again, I don't see anything that just cuts her out. Um, I think I checked her toenails before, but we'll look again. Yes, blue toenails for sure, no doubts. Uh, if it's going to be white, it's going to be on this front paw, that toe, every time. But we want to go ahead and look. Yeah, so all her toenails are blue. I think I looked when she was six weeks old at weaning time. Yeah. yeah. All right, good job. Good job, girl. Now, again, she was a little bit under, uh, but uh, she's going to get the same benefit of doubt that our brother did because she is sharing a pen with three other girls, and it's been hot, no one's eating, so I'm going to give her a little extra time. They were right at five pounds, so they're not drastically behind. They're only behind by a few ounces uh, at 11 weeks, and they're not quite 11 weeks. Uh, they're like 10 weeks and five days or something, four days or five days. So five to five and a half pounds is where I would have liked, and they were just um, right at... 4, 4, 12, 4, 15, and 5 pounds on the mark. I think one of them was maybe 5, 1. Uh, the black doe, I think, was 5, 1. So they're not drastically behind, um, only by a few ounces uh, for the minimal. I would have loved to seen them at 5.5 or greater, but we didn't make that. I know a blue rabbit with a navy blue shirt, a black rabbit navy blue shirt. I apologize for that. Oh, now this one I like. I like this one way more uh, than the others. The others were not bad, but they, they, they needed to improve. This girl's got a great start. She's got a great top line. I really like how she looks. If anything, um, I would like to see a little more de uh, depth, uh, height uh, at the peak. But I think she's balanced, and that's really what you want to look at. Um, and depth can come as they mature. Remember, she's only not quite 11 weeks yet, so still a young, young thing. Let me show you her better side, you know. When you're raising rabbits for meat uh, on a homestead or just uh, just because you like rabbit meat uh, you know this is what you want to look at this is what your this is the biggest portion uh, of what goes on the dinner plate is this right here this back strap uh, this loin and back strap and so that's what you want to look at and you know she's she's filled in nicely she's got a nice taper front to back She's got a nice rise and a, gra a gradual rise and a gradual round and then comes straight down to the table. 
Now, I don't know if she's been exposed to some sun. Um, I think actually where she is, she does get a little bit of early morning sun. Her black is not as deep and rich as I would like. It almost, not quite, not quite, but it just almost has um, a copper tinge to it. And I think that's probably from the sun. Let's take a look at her belly. See, there's no copper brassiness. That's the word to use. There's no brassiness on the belly. So I think that is um, probably sun across her back here that gives her uh, just a touch of brassiness. Uh, now, I think I checked her at six weeks. But what I want to check for again is a white navel spot. And I do not see any white mark. No white spots. That's great. Um, I don't see any stray white hairs either. I mean, usually on black you'll get, you know, a couple or so, but um, I really don't see any. If we can just. I may take her and put her in the car part uh, to make sure she's completely out of the sun uh, because she definitely uh, has a little bit of brassiness and we need to. I think she is going to be a great show prospect. I like this doll. I like this doll a lot. I hope your blue sister follows you. Well, I know. You're bigger than her. You've been the bully. You've been the one pushing them off the feed, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, she's a good girl. Look at her. And she's just holding her pose so nicely. She's being petted and touched and flipped and prodded and blowed on. and She's getting all kinds of crazy treatment. And she says, oh yeah, okay. That's just mom. She does those things. Huh? <laughs> I like this doe. Look at her. I tell you what, she may stick around for a minute. <laughs> Isn't the right girl? Hmm? I'm going to have to look and see uh, if we have any black names here in Arkansas. I know we have Black Rock and uh, a couple of other things. Um, black Rock is kind of masculine, though. I don't know. Is there a town called Ebony? We could call her Ebony. Yeah, I don't think there's an ebony. We'll have to look. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, down below, I'm going to leave some links. One will be to my web, web page uh, where I will list available rabbits as they come available. And I will also have a link there uh, to the website that also has my show schedule. So if I have any uh, rabbits available that you're interested in, and I'm going to be at a show near you. I'm always happy to deliver uh, rabbits to a show or along the route on my way there. Uh, I'm also going to leave a link to our Facebook fan page. So, <laughs> so be sure to check that out. I, I just had a thought. Uh, I've been working out in the garden. I've been working out in the rabbitry. I've been, I've been working since 7.30 this morning. And it just dawned on me, I started filming this video, and I have not gone in the house to look at the mirror. <laughs> I'm probably a mess. My hair's probably poking out everywhere. I probably have rabbit poop smeared all over me. <laughs> I've been working in the garden, guys. I put poop in the garden. So uh, uh, if I'm a disaster, I apologize for that. I've been, I've been working hard today. So uh, anyway, I should have took a moment to brush my hair and wash my face before I... <laughs> started filming. Hey, thanks for watching. Until we speak again, God bless. Hey, little girl. I like you. You're a pretty girl. Well behaved, too. <laughs>